give me a tour of that of that pedal box, if you would. Wow. All right. So this is a cheap delay pedal that I bought in order to modify it. Right. Um, because I like modifying electronic instruments. And I don't want to modify anything expensive or collectible because there's a, a non non negligible chance that I'll destroy it accidentally. Right. And there's no reason. There's no reason to, to you might if you're going to play with something like this is what happens with uh, with uh, with people who modify action figures. Yeah. They they buy sort of the cheap action figure and then it's it's fine. And then they, they soup yeah. it up. Yep. So you've souped up just a regular pedal box. This is a cheap Arion brand delay, stereo okay. delay pedal that I think I paid $30 for. Okay. What I did was I opened it up and exposed the circuit board and just started poking around with a wire while the pedal was engaged. Okay. To see if I could make any interesting sounds. This is called circuit bending. People okay. do it with like old speak and spells and old Casio keyboards and stuff. Okay. Circuit um, bending. And people do it with pedals. Right. And so I opened this up and found some bend points where when I connect, you know, I jumped the circuit. I literally sh shorted the circuit because I created a new route for the signal to go through. Right. It would like make like a crazy. See, I make a lot of like, I guess you would just say like noisy, non-musical music. So okay. Like screeching sounds are a plus for me. They wouldn't work in your <laughs> sticks cover band necessarily. No. But no. if you can get like a crazy overdriven screeching sound, I'm into it. Okay. So like. And then this is this is not an actual button that you engage. This is just a metal screw, because when you touch this screw, your own body acts as a resistor, and it bends the pitch of the delayed signal. Okay. So if your guitar goes dung, and then the pedal goes dung, 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 when you touch this, it'll go dung, 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 like that. Oh, okay. It's the pitch, because you've changed the resistance. So that's an <laughs> example of a... And are the knobs... Affecting how how much gain yeah. is it gain? Yeah, for, okay, we're, we're 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 burning through this lesson. <laughs> gain is relevant on like an overdrive pedal. The overdrive pedal that you have, when you adjust the gain, yeah, you're adjusting the level of the signal. Okay. On this on this pedal, this is a delay pedal. It does have three knobs. One of them is just the mix knob, which is how much of the effect do you actually want to hear. If okay. I turn it all the way counterclockwise, you won't hear any of the effect. Okay. If I turn it, let's say, to 12 o'clock noon, you'll hear you're, you'll hear an even mix of your unaffected guitar and the delay that the pedal's producing. If That's you turn it cool. all the way up, you'll get nothing but delay. You won't okay. hear your original signal. You'll just hear the repeats. Okay. The second knob here is the depth of the delay, which I think in the case of this pedal... So de delay pedals have two components. They have what you would call like the buffer size, which is how long does the pedal wait before it starts repeating what you're playing? So let's say that your original, the original thing you're going to play is donk, donk. If yep. I have my pe delay pedal very quick, if I have the knob set for a very short delay, it's going to go donk, 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 donk. If I have it set for a long delay, it might go donk, donk. Donk, donk. Oh. Right? You're kind of adjust. You're adjusting the distance that you are from the other mountain on the other side of the canyon before things start flying back at you. Do you know what I mean? I think I just had a tiny epiphany here about right. what an effects pedal is. I love this. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, oh, the, the tension. Let's build some. Here's what I think Mike Furman and... Mike uh, Furman is a master of the looper of the, of the looper. Is that different? pedal. A looper. Or is it a version of an effects pedal? And a, a looper is an effects pedal. Okay. And they're all 